Right, hi everyone and welcome to another installment of our construction scheduling tutorials in MS Project. And today I'm going to focus on a technique that I use quite often and it's it's nice to to know about this technique in MS Project. And it's all about a variable material resource that you can add into the schedule. Now sometimes you've got a material resource like fuel or a, a concrete pump or something that the, the usage of it will depend on the amount of days or the amount of hours that you're going to use uh, that particular resource. Now, you don't want to create a work resource because that will consume hours. And that's not what we want because we've got a material resource such as fuel. And in this case, we need to create something that's variable and that can adjust as the time adjusts. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I want to create a, let's call just a theoretical task for casting concrete in bases. And let's say this task is going to take us two days as an initial estimate. And then secondly, I'm going to create the resources for it. So let's say, firstly, we're going to use concrete, uh, which will be a material type resource. And then the rate will be, let's call it a thousand five hundred. So I'm working in, in rands. You can divide that roughly by 15 to get a, a dollar value. And we're going to use a prorated, that's fine, cost per use, nothing. And let's put in a pump as well. And that's going to be a material resource. And let's say that's going to be 2,400 Rand per day. And let's put in some fuel for that pump. Also material resource, and that's going to be 15 Rand a liter. And also, I'm going to, in terms of my units there, I'm going to put in cubic meters for the concrete. The pump will be a use per day. And then the fuel will be used per hour. Ah, sorry, no, that'll be just liter, liters. So those are my three resources, and I'm going to assign them now. And in the assignment, I'm going to show you how to create a variable resource so let's just go back to our Gantt chart view and I'm going to right click there and go to assign resources so for the concrete we're going to say in this case let's say we're going to cast uh, 40 cubic meters and then let's do the pump first so the pump I'm just going to say instead of just having one unit or two units I'm going to say one and then I'm going to use a forward slash to indicate a per and I'm going to add in a D which means one per day. And again, if you have two pumps there, you can just add two pumps per day. But as the days increase, obviously you're going to need the pumps for those additional days. So at this, at this stage, we've got 2,400 Rand per pump. And because we're going to use it for two days, it already works out that cost to 4,800 Rand for us. And on the fuel side, let's say we're going to use uh, three liters. And again, I'm going to use the per, and in this case, just H for hour. And MS Project will recognize that. You can click enter. And you'll see we're going to use three liters per hour. It already works it out eight hours per day times two days. And that gives us a cost. So let's close that. And now you can open up the, the cost column just to see what we've done. So the cost for the casting will be 65,000 of which the bulk will be the concrete material. But then the pump will be a portion of that and the fuel as well. And as we change this now, obviously, let's change it to five days. The concrete material cost will stay the same. But the variable cost in terms of fuel in the pump will increase our amount. So let's type in 5 and enter. And you can see the increase now to uh, 73,000. And if we go to the resource usage task uh, view, I mean uh, resource usage. We can now see that exact usage per day of the variable materials and we can add in the cost there. 
there we go and you can see the cost breakdown of each and every resource and then the activity where they are applicable so very nice nifty trick in ms project that you can use um, it's it's quite a, a powerful rate build up that you can build into any of your tasks and once applied and you have your resource sheet as a separate item you can always bring this in into new projects as well and just keep your resource sheet uh, as it is and you're simply going to add in your resources in the Gantt chart and then assign those values as variable values and it'll adjust as this activity contracts or expands it'll adjust your cost all right see you guys in our next video